All right, what's up, guys? So, as you know, we're starting off these tutorials learning the internal components of a computer, just a basic PC, like. And we've already done motherboards and CPUs. And now in this tutorial, we're just going to have a look at the cooling systems within your your computer. And what your cooling systems would be, well, basically, I'll tell you why you have your cooling system. Well. As you know, there's a load of electricity running through your computer, all different uh, components and that in your computer. So these are all, you know, a lot of electricity is running through your computer, and this is heating up the components. And so you need a cooling system to cool down your components, basically. Otherwise, your computer is just going to keep getting hotter and hotter and hotter, and it's going to stop working, basically. So you need a cooling system, and basically the basically what the cooling system is is just like fans that cool down the components basically so we'll get we'll get to this now right? so I'll give you a look so as you know electronic components generate heat while they're you know electricity running through them so they generate heat too much heat can damage components so obviously you want to cool down the components and here's the first way you cool down your components the first thing is a case fan and what the case fan does it blows hot air out of the computer you know if you look in your computer you see if you have a computer here if you look in your computer you have like vents you see like here is a, like a vent just air vents on your computer and that's basically so your case fan here will be like on the top of your computer inside your computer and it will blow air into the computer and then the hot air will then be forced out of the vents and away from your computer so that cools down your computer and that's just your the case fan there, there's a little fan just sits up here in the side of your, of your computer on the inside and it will just blow cool air around, you know, just blow all the air from the outside in and then forcing all the hot air inside out of the vents and as you can see it has a little power cable here that will you know connect to your motherboard or whatever and that's what, how it powers so that's the case fan that's the main thing there and then also the CPU the CPU gets extremely hot during use the CPU gets extremely hot and if the CPU overheats then it's going to stop working it's going to just shut down and um, like stop working so like the CPU will, if, if there's no cooling system on the CPU then the CPU will shut down basically every time you I don't know watch this video because it'll just overheat and um, shut down so you gotta get a cooling system for your CPU and the cooling system the cooling system that they have is is a thing it's a thing called a heat sink now the heat sink it's like a this is a, it's a picture of it here this is one type of heat sink one design and it's just like a metal thing here and it sits on top of the CPU and basically the CPU will get really hot and then the heat sink will you know absorb all the heat well most of the heat anyway from the CPU so it draws heat away from the core of the CPU so it draws heat away from the CPU basically and also to add you know effectiveness to this they, you, you, they put what's called just a, a thermal a thermal compound between like on top of like you, you just say you're doing this and you're putting your heat sink onto your CPU you put a bit of thermal compound it's like a liquid onto the seat onto the top of your CPU and then then you put your heat sink on top of the CPU and then your heat sink and your CPU are sealed with this thermal compound and the thermal compound is just a highly um, heat absorbent liquid obviously it um it hardens a little bit but it's just really oh, I can't think of the word it just absorbs heat 
and so it absorbs heat from the CPU and it just helps to absorb heat from the CPU and give it to the heat sink um, so just the thermal compound is for more effective <coughs> yeah just more effective heat transfer so that's what your thermal compound is and then the last thing there's actually a heat sink fan that sits on top of the heat sink and then that fan cools the heat sink and that's basically it the heat sink draws heat away from the CPU and the heat the heat sink fan blows the heat away from the heat sink so that's how you keep your CPU cool and then of course your case fan will then blow all the hot air in the whole computer out of the computer and that's how you keep you know your overall computer cool um, so here's a picture then this is your as you can see this is a motherboard here in the back on the this yellow thing is like a, is a motherboard and you have your heat sink here this great thing here is the heat sink and that's sitting on top obviously this is not actual size <laughs> it's a uh, the heat sink's not this big just in case you're, you're thinking that like but anyway the fucking the heat sink here sits on top of the on top of the CPU and it draws heat away from the CPU and then you have the heat sink fan which sits on top of the, of the heat sink and the heat sink fan blows heat away from the heat sink and cools down the heat sink so basically the heat is taken away from the CPU and it's absorbed by the heat sink and then the heat is blown away by the heat sink fan and then of course the case fan blows all the hot air in, in the whole computer out of the computer and again you can see that the heatsink fan has a power cable here and the power cable connects to the motherboard and that's how the heatsink fan is powered so every time you turn on your computer and electricity gets into, goes into the motherboard and all the components the heatsink fan will then turn on straight away because it's connected to the motherboard same with the the, fucking, the case fan the case fan is also connected to the, connected to the motherboard and turns on as soon as you turn on your computer basically so that's your cooling system um, your, your heat sink fan, your case fan uh, so it's a very quick one next we're going to be looking at ROM and RAM so check it out in the next tutorial Second.